you guys you need to do a wardrobe clear out because i guarantee you you will find a hidden gem in your wardrobe and i just found my hidden gem from zara and i can't even believe that this got lost in my wardrobe i'm almost annoyed at myself for not wearing it at every possible opportunity so anyway let's get into today's wardrobe clear out so end of spring summer um just having a bit of a tidy up a bit of a clear out a little bit of a, like a reorganization um everything's just overflowing it's a little bit messy you know when it's like this has been overdue for a little while now is the time here we are let's get it done so i like to do it in sections i like to do it in dresses then tops then trousers then skirts um, then we'll go on to shoes and bags and as you guys will probably already know I do sell a lot of my items that I do get rid of a lot of them are brand new with tags over on one of my Instagram pages which is at with love katie 2 underscores I'll leave it in the description box below most things are a size 12 but can range between like 8 and 14 because you know the size and industry is all whack so yeah, if you want a bargain, head over there. Otherwise, let's get into today's wardrobe clear out and find the little gem at the back of your wardrobe. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to mention the sponsor of our video today, which is Stepology. I'm so happy to be introducing you to this wonderful skincare brand. They are an absolute dream and here is the product. And I have to say, I have fallen in love especially with the night cream i've got a few products to talk you through but my favorite has to be this night cream um so it comes in this beautiful little pot everything's very like simplistic packaged really lovely which i think is you know always something nice when you're buying skincare you want it to just like look nice sitting on your shelf um as well as obviously actually being a great product so this one is the anti-aging retinol night cream and this one actually helps to improve fine lines wrinkles and to brighten the skin. It's got retinol in it, which is um, almost like, a, I think, a natural exfoliator. It like takes away any dead layers of the skin and rejuvenates the cells. Um, so that one is my top one, my absolute favorite, and one that I can't wait. Just to keep seeing more results of, I'm waking up with like a really fresh face. I feel like it's really nourishing, really deep. Do you like that really soft, like good clenching night cream that you really want in the evenings? Um, I personally have quite like dull, skin so for me this one is just like perfect my other favorite would have to be these which are black caviar collagen patches i feel like that's such a mouthful with hydrogel and these are literally you know those eye patches you pop under your eyes you know when you're just feeling like you want something a little bit fancy these are what you need for them i do have a discount code for you guys i'll pop it on the screen here as well um, as well as in the description box another product that i wanted to mention before we get into today's video is the collagen boosting serum so this one is absolutely a, just a dream this is really good for like hydrating the skin again it toggles wrinkles it's anti-aging and i've only been using this one a week and i have to say so far i am loving the, the night cream but them as a duo is also really lovely as well now this is something that personally is not my favorite product but i'm not sure it just didn't really agree with me and my skin however i think this is one of their best selling products so it may just be like my personal preference but i like to share everything with you honestly as possible i definitely did see results but for me i'm a little bit more of a low maintenance kind of person you've got to leave them on either two hours or overnight it's a bit much faff for me i'm not gonna lie however if you are someone who likes that kind of thing these will be ideal for you so they come in five little separate sachets like this um and they're eye patches for underneath the eye and they actually really really target the fine lines and wrinkles with the micro dart patches the brand itself as well is also i really wanted to mention this cruelty free and vegan which is a massive plus for me See, you want to put something comfy on to do this i also recommend popping on your favorite playlist i have on today i have like a love songs playlist that i love which is like soppy love songs and i also have one that is if you've seen the film eurovision the soundtrack of that and also the soundtrack of the greatest showman if anyone else loves those leave me a comment so i know i'm not alone um so yeah they're gonna be my playlist for today and i've also got on just the comfiest little um like cozy jumper because it's a little bit chilly today and also just some pajama bottoms because we've got to be comfy and we've got to be in the mood for this serious clear out um i've also got a cup of coffee and reese is bringing me banana bread 
at any moment when we come up this when he comes in. So let's start with the wardrobe. So the fact that we haven't even been here very long and it's in this much of a mess is kind of embarrassing. Um, we are currently staying with Reese's family before we move into a rented place um in a few months time but yeah this is just like literally not even funny i don't have enough room to keep everything in here so it definitely needs to be cleared um it is in some kind of order but as you can see like how can i even pick an outfit from this like it's not even fun so let's just begin here's reese with the banana bread on cue <laughs> what is this sliver what do you mean So thin as a bloody biscuit. So the first thing I like to do is pull things out so we've got space to put it back in neatly. And I also like to make separate piles. So one pile will be like for sale, one part pile will be like a maybe, and then one pile will be like 100% keeping, never parting from my wardrobe. So like I said, I'm gonna start with dresses because I do feel like I've got a lot piled up here of quite similar dresses. And I hate having more than one on one hanger. So if we can, avoid it. Try and have one on hanger because it just makes life and your wardrobe look so much better. So I try my best to keep like classic and timeless pieces like this. This is like never going to go out of fashion. I absolutely love it. I love wearing it. I feel good in it. So it's definitely a keep. It is a few years old. This one is actually this season. Absolutely love it. Definitely going to keep that as well. Okay. These two I've never worn other than for like a photo. So I'm thinking... I think I'd get rid of this one, although it is nice. I just feel like, like what kind of occasion would you actually wear it for? It's like a summer day dress, but I've got many dresses I would pick above it. So I think I'm gonna put that one for sale. So we'll put that one in the sale pile. And this one, I feel like as a maybe, like on the hanger, I never feel like wearing it. Whenever I put it on, I actually think, oh, this looks really nice. But again, I feel like I just don't really know what occasion you'd wear it for. Like maybe a baby shower or like, something like that but how often does that actually happen and then you like look for a new dress anyway so yeah I think I might put this in the for sale pile or the maybe pile well, I don't know I'll put it in the maybe pile so this one I got new this year I do love this I think it's really really pretty again it is kind of one of those things you probably would more so wear on holiday or for like an occasion here not really posh enough for a wedding but it's nice for like an event style thing um so I'm going to put that in the keep pile. This is from a sustainable brand and I absolutely love this dress. It's made of linen and it's from a brand called This Is Unfolded. I have a discount code with them as well. Um, I have a few of their pieces and they're just like really lovely, good quality, timeless, timeless pieces. This is like a different colour that I, I would normally wear, but I do really love this on. I think it's really flattering, um, really classy, elegant, like just a really good all rounder dress for different occasions. So we're definitely going to keep that one. This dress I bought for my birthday it ended up being the dress that I wore the night me and Reese got engaged, so definitely going to keep this one. This one, I mean, I really never ever go out or anything these days, but I feel like if I ever did have to, um, like, I don't know, a night out that I needed to go on, I think this would just be, like, good to have in a wardrobe as a backup dress, so I'm going to keep that one, even though I've never actually worn it either. Um, this one I love, this one is from my most recent haul called Rotita, if you haven't heard of the brand. Yes, this was like one of those good finds from that haul, so if you haven't seen that yet, it's a really good one, and I do have a new one coming out this month as well, so make sure you're subscribed to see that one. It's really good, like everyday dress, I just absolutely love that one. Next, this one, as you can see, I've not worn, it's got the label on, but I did actually only pick it up the other day in Matalan. Um, but it was insane. I just thought it was really good, like everyday, classy, classic, white dress. It's like a linen material. I'm not sure if it's like full linen or not, but it was in sale. It was such a bargain. So, um, yeah, everyone feel like needs a good white classic day dress. And this is that for me. Um, I feel like there's going to be not that many dresses I get rid of, actually, because I do get rid of dresses quite a lot. But I think when we get to like these sort of sections, there'll probably be a lot that goes. Um, this is like my perfect holiday dress, just like on those days where it's super hot. It's just like a linen dress from Zara. Um, I love it and I do live in it whenever I'm abroad, so definitely going to keep that one. Because this next dress I did actually get this year from a brand called Style Cheat and they do have some really great dresses. I have probably some of my favourite dresses are from them and I only discovered them this year. Um, this is just like a lovely broidery anglais. It's really pretty. The only thing for me with this one is like it is short and I don't ever really like 
when it's hot i feel like do you want to have long sleeves on obviously you want a short dress but you don't really want long sleeves when it's hot so it's like kind of like a weird situation dress like when would you wear it but i do really love it so i don't think i can part with it just yet because i did only get it this year I'm doing very well so far on the get rid of pialari this one i'm not too sure about like in pictures i love it but when i look at it on the on the hanger it just like really bores me so it's just a linen dress um wrap dress it's a nice length actually it's not too short it's like just above the knee from marks and spencers it was part of the collaboration i did with them last month um i think i'm gonna keep this one i do really love it i think it just probably just needs an iron because when it's not ironed it does look a little bit meh now this one i'm not sure whether to keep or not like i do love it but now i've just shown you like another white dress with long sleeves and a short do i need two which one do we prefer that's that's which one is the one oh they're both like different aren't they this one's a bit more like dressy and this one's a bit more like casual you're gonna see how much white i have in my wardrobe now as well so this is from the brand style sheet as well this one again definitely needs an iron um, but this one looks lovely on. However, now I do have that new white dress. I think maybe this is less nice than the new one. Although I do love the sleeves on this one. So this might stay in my wardrobe this year, but maybe go out next. So this one I picked up in Primark last year, I think. The end of last year. And it's just one of those ones, like, on a hot day and you just don't want anything touching you. It's just perfect for that. I won't really wear this, like, out and about too much. Maybe just, like, shopping, nice casual day dress. I feel like, you know, for that reason, I'm going to keep it um okay so that is our dresses i've actually done the dresses that's not bad i actually don't have that many so i got rid of one i got one maybe the best we keep hilarious um i do have some wintry dresses in here but i'm definitely going to be keeping them because i love them and i don't get enough wear out of them because i'm always bloody away somewhere warm in the winter so like definitely hangers like this just don't even just don't do it to yourself like put on a decent hanger wrong with me what i'm thinking is because i want to get that back in now and neat i'm going to take actually like the next section out and then put it back in as so next i've got like skirts and shirts like loony shirts and tops i'm gonna make sure i put them back in in color coordinated order and i also like to put them in like a like less sleeves to like a long sleeve so like strapless to the long sleeve in that order as well in the same way i think because we move a lot and obviously because i do a lot of like fashion i do do this quite regular so i don't feel like it's the most massive chore i think probably the one for me it's gonna be the worst part is like shoes and bags shoes shoes are gonna be the worst bit i really hate like i said more than one thing being on a hanger but i really have no choice when it comes to these things um these are both new this year so i'm def definitely keeping these skirts nice midi and maxi skirts and these two I do love. I might get rid of that one. No, I do love it. So why would I get rid of it? Um, trousers. Again, I try and keep like, similar colours on similar hangers if I have to share hangers. Um, these are just classic. I absolutely love these. These don't fit me great. But occasionally I put them on and I love them. So I'm like, I don't know if I'm ready to pack them yet or not. So let's put them in the maybe pile. It's a bit more ruthless than we're being right here, isn't it? Again, same with these. Like sometimes I put these on and I love them, sometimes I don't. They're both from River Island, so I'm guessing it's like the fit of them that isn't what I love. These are my black linen trousers from Zara that I've worn to death this year and I just love them. They actually look quite scruffy already though, which I'm kind of annoyed about. Like I only bought them this summer and yeah, they do look kind of scruffy, which is not ideal. Um, and I picked up this from my new look haul, which is a little midi skirt, uh, which I actually have some tops coming from H&M that I'm hoping to pair with this, because I don't really have anything that goes with it great at the minute. Uh, I'm actually going to transfer the brown skirt onto... And then I also have quite a lot of things that I'm like, oh, I wouldn't wear that unless it was on holiday. So some of those things, if you have, I feel like your wardrobe's overflowing, put them in your holiday suitcase, like wherever you keep your holiday suitcase, and keep like all your holiday stuff in your holiday suitcase. It makes such a difference to like the amount of space you have in your wardrobe. Um, and then also like when you go to go on holiday, you've got all these clothes in there that you for basically forgot you had. So that's a really good tip as well. Um, this is one of those things that like I probably would only really wear on holiday. It's like a linen-y skirt. I definitely could wear it here, but I just never really feel like it 
suits much here so that could definitely be transferred um, and then we've got a satin midi skirt which I do love but it does it's just a little bit see-through like when I wear it so I, I never like reach for it that much I actually wear this a lot more in the winter as well and the same with this one I wear this midi skirt in the winter a lot more with like just a roll neck and boots I've actually got some nice boots to share with you guys as well okay this skirt's a new skirt um I feel like this is much more like an occasion wear skirt um again it's like one of those things like you would buy to wear to something i don't really know what i would wear it to at the minute so i feel like it is kind of like wasting the world of space but it is really pretty so i'm like maybe i'd wear it more autumn time again with like boots and a roll neck or something like that so i'm going to keep it for that same with this black satin skirt i only really wear this does actually look really nice with trainers on top i forget about it all the time um and then this skirt again this is much more like a winter skirt so i'm feeling like maybe i should keep these somewhere else rather than just like clogging up my wardrobe and a new pile called the winter or not this season pile. This was one of those things I was hoping to love and it would replace like a different top that I had. But unfortunately, this is just too big for me. It doesn't like sit right. So for that reason, I'm gonna sell it. It is beautiful. It's got like pearl details on the front. This one again is one of those ones that when I put on, I love it, but I never really pick it out of the wardrobe. It's not really summery kind of colors for me. I find it's more of like a wintry. I think it's because it's got the black in. Mm, it smells like perfume, it smells lovely that one. Um, it does match the other skirt as well that I just shared with you. But a few linen shirts which I found are like a new favourite of mine for this year. So I'm going to put all of them straight back in. This one I picked up in Primark. £15 the other day, it's from my Primark haul. If you haven't seen it, it was last week's video. It's a really, really good haul. It's an amazing summer haul. I absolutely love all the pieces in it. Um, and yeah, this is one of the pieces and I just... They have this in so many colours at the minute. So if you're looking for a linen shirt, pop to Primark and get yourself a bargain. Must be something about black linen that just like wears like the colour really quick or something. Because this like is looking a bit navy and I only got this one this, this season as well. This one's from Marks and Sparks, but I'm going to keep it because I do love it. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This one you will have seen in, um, I did like an airport outfit and there's matching shorts to it. I do love it. I do like it on. I just feel it like on the hanger. Like when it's next to like my nice linen ones, it looks cheap. It looks like a cheap material, but it does look good on. I don't know. Maybe we put this in the maybe pile, shall we? I've got another one which I picked up in Zara as well, like a nice beigey tone one, and then a white embroidery anglais one which I picked up from Long Tall Sally. Um, which like I'm five foot nine, but Jesus Christ, like you have to be bloody tall to wear their clothes. It's re like really tall. Like, everything was so big on me I, and I just that has never happened so they really are for tall tall people which is obviously great for the tall people but I thought I, I would have considered myself a tall person it says five foot eight and above and I'm five foot nine but these were very tall anyway it's lovely so I'm definitely going to keep it also another tip is like if you don't mind spending a little bit of money go and buy yourself like all matching hangers because it does just make your wardrobe look so much better like having these plasticky ones in between is just pants these lovely ones i bought from Primark, but they also do them in like tk maxx like um home sense those kind of places so i would recommend those ones They're like a velvety uh, material my favorite ones are the black ones with the gold hanger if i can find any online i'll leave a link below well going good we've got up to here so this bit of my wardrobe is basically just blazers, which I'm 100% going to keep all of because they're just one of those things that like never go out of fashion. Although saying that, I popped a brighter pink blazer over there. But yeah, I kind of went through these the other day, but this one I'm going to get rid of. It's got matching shorts as well. It is lush. I just find the colour a little bit, like it's not quite my tone, if you see what I mean. Like this is much more of my tone, much more of a dusky. This is a little bit more bright. Um, so for that reason, I think I'm going to get rid of these um shorts and blazer combo so again i'll pop that over on my um page on instagram where i do sell all my clothes dresses um that i'm actually going to put in with the other dresses because it's kind of like coming to that time of year now where i could easily put like a knit dress on with some birkenstocks or something because it's getting a bit cooler and also like make sure everything's just like the right way round like such simple little things but it does make your wardrobe just like feel more manageable and like you can look at it and not get stressed out <laughs> like why would I put something back inside out it's so lazy stop being lazy people <laughs> people being myself and then I've got a few cardigans which I'm going to put behind all of the um linen tops because obviously if it's getting a bit cooler I want them easily accessible 
um, and I can reach them. And I'm just gonna again make sure they're like in colour coordinated to order. I've just got some like chunky ones from Zara. This one is actually from Style Cheat last year when they were brand new and I loved it. Um, so yeah, that one's inside out, so I'm gonna swap them around. These ones from Forever Unique, and I never really wear them, but I can't part with them because they do look really lovely. So I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm going to keep hold on to them and think like that. I'm going to wear them in the winter. If I don't wear them this year, I will get rid of them. But those things that like look really lovely on, and then you're like, why don't I wear this more? There's like stuff you have in your wardrobe that you've not worn this summer, um, because especially because we've been out of lockdown now and you have actually been able to be out and about. Like I feel like last year when I was doing a wardrobe clear out, I was like, well, I don't really know what I would have not would have worn or not worn because we were just in the house for like a year. So if you've not worn any summer stuff this summer, definitely it's time to go. You don't need it, okay? Be a bit more ruthless than it looks like I'm being. I just do do this quite regular because we move so much. So. like not really worn that I forget about that I'm like oh, okay next time I have like an event or an occasion I need to wear this too because it's so lush it's like a hot pink suit and I just think the old me would never have worn something like this but obviously more and more you dabble around in fashion you're like I'm just gonna try it and I love it on so I do just want to say if you are someone who's like really safe with their wardrobe like never really tries anything different like down to just Order something that you'd love to wear that you think, oh, I could never wear that. Try it on in the comfort of your own home when no one can see you. Have a little wander around in it and just push yourself. If you love it and you feel good in it, just push yourself to wear it because life's too short to wear boring clothes. You go, girl. <laughs> and that was really great. <laughs> but it's true, isn't it? Like, you, even like you and your fashion sense, like, you used to be like, oh, God, I wouldn't wear something like that. And I'm like, just try it on. And then when you try it on, you love it. Yeah. He does. Um, this is also one of those things, and mm, this is a weird thing because it's like when it's hot, like it's a cropped cardigan that you wrap around. But it's like when it's hot, do you want to be wearing a cardigan? Not really. But you won't really wear it in the winter, so it's a bit of a weird one. But it does look nice for quite a lot of my maxi skits. So I'm going to keep it for that reason. Hope that I wear it. If I don't wear it this winter, I will get rid of it. Oh, it's looking so much better already. Literally colour coordinated. Oh, short to like long. Literally perfect. And there's quite a bit actually on the floor. It didn't seem like I had to get rid of a lot, but they did because there's a lot on the floor. So now what I'm going to do is move those piles out of the way. So I make sure I've got lots of space now to come and do these ones because this is going to be not the fun part. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm getting back to it. I had to finish my coffee. And now we're getting back to it. I also got a bit overheated. It was a bit hot. I'm um, okay. Hope you guys are loving my flower bottoms and appreciate the reality of it. <laughs> okay, let's go. So basically this top is, this pile is tops. So I'm going to go through this one. I find tops the hardest to like organise and keep organised, especially when they're just in like one pile like this. Let's just hope the whole, oh, <laughs> the whole thing doesn't fall down. I think it's going to. Okay, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. So we're just going to put jeans and shorts on the floor and pretend that, that was meant to be there. Um, so I can get it all back in neatly. Okay, it was empty. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So I'm kind of thinking like longer sleeve tops tops that are more wintry we obviously want to put on the bottom of the pile or if we have separate space like I mentioned before pop maybe an option of popping it in like a bag that can be stored away somewhere 
all summery stuff that you only really wear on holiday in a suitcase does free up a lot of space if you are like small for space wardrobe wise um i don't know if i've mentioned this before actually this t-shirt this is like if you need a basic t-shirt i'm gonna do a summer capsule wardrobe and if you are a subscriber here you'll know i've been banging on about this summer capsule wardrobe that i'm gonna get filmed i'm actually gonna get it filmed though honestly in the next few weeks before um the end of summer <laughs> which I kind of feel the fruits the point now I should really be thinking about an autumn capsule wardrobe but a lot of the pieces will cross over so this would be one of them however this is from like an Amazon brand which is called Be Luring uh, <coughs> I have shopped on Amazon for a long time but I've never really thought a bit thought about it as somewhere to shop for clothes as you guys can see pink is like definitely my color I absolutely love it um and this is kind of gifted from the brand on Amazon she's um got loads of lovely pieces and this is like a great capsule piece for the wardrobe it's the softest t-shirt ever I have to say the softest t-shirt I've ever felt um and I definitely need one in every color for my capsule wardrobe so yeah I will leave the link down below if you are in need of some basic tees this is like the perfect one and the softest thing you'll ever feel in your entire life so my plan is I'm gonna put in piles long sleeve tops t-shirts strappy tops and then like maybe like going out tops again because they're like ones you don't really need on a daily basis or too regular and um, then I'm also going to do like the maybe pile and the get rid of pile we'll see how it goes done like tops I don't really wear often but like frilly fancy tops here um and then also like some longer sleeve tops and a bodysuit here so they're gonna go at the bottom of the pile bodysuits and then the frilly fancier tops that I don't wear regular okay that is looking fantastic Norris pile but that is all of my tops I feel like jeans and shorts again something I do clear out really regular so I'm not gonna have any to get rid of but just more of just like a tidy up and an organize all my jeans so they're just going to go in straight like this and I think I've got a white pair to put on the top and then I'm going to do shorts because obviously it's still summer season my newest pair of shorts from my pre mac haul if you haven't seen it they are my favorite I do absolutely love them I do feel like I've got now I've got three pairs of pink shorts so I probably should get pair, uh, rid of another pair however they are all quite different like these are much more like a casual beachy short and then these are like pink although I've had these for like centuries so part of me is like maybe I should get rid of them they are kind of like off pink now but when they're on they look fine so you know you're like oh I don't know like I probably couldn't sell them but on they look absolutely fine so I'm gonna keep them made that decision for myself okay these I could definitely get rid of I just don't ever like I've wear them around the house and that's like it so I feel like maybe I'll get rid of them um found a few more tops in this pile as well so they need to be like added into there and I also found a few cardigans which I'm gonna hang up linen shorts the best kind of shorts um, I'm still on the lookout for a nice pair of white linen shorts and when I do I'm gonna replace these white shorts with them actually I think there might be some in that H&M hoarder 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 um it's like a squatty skirt, but I love it. Best denim shorts I bought. All the shorts, just straight on top of the jeans, I think. In the order of which these aren't actually in kind of quarters order. These are in order of which how often I wear them. Okay, so on to the final clothing section, which is just like loungewear, comfy wear, gym tops, like stuff to chuck on to go to the gym. My gym stuff is all gravy, so I'm not gonna go through that with you guys. Um, I'm just going to go through my shoes and maybe bags. I don't think I've got that many to get rid of bags wise, but it just needs a good organisation. Um, maybe two bags. Okay, let's just go. Go, 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 go. jumper 
is ready and I'm going to put the joggers on top because less of them so it's easier to get two. Good. Oh, this is so satisfying. Look how good this looks. Are you jealous? Turn it your side compared to mine now. Are you? Are you well gel? Mega jealous. Jelly. Jellyfish. So Look at this organisation. That looks beautiful, does it not? I was saying as well, I think I can get rid of these now because I don't think it's like, I only ever wear these on holiday and just put like a raincoat here because now it rains all the time in Wales again. Okay, so as you can see, I can't close the lid. So the mission is just to be able to close the lid. But it feels like the end of summer. I was saying, because like we were in Mexico at the start of the year, it feels like it's just been summer forever. It's just been hot forever, like I'm so ready for autumn, like winter wardrobe. <laughs> Nothing back. Do you feel the same? You're ready for your autumn wardrobe? Yeah, I've been craving it for weeks. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm scared it's gonna be like spiders in here as well. Probably are. This okay. is ridiculous, you need to get rid of some of this shit. That's exactly what I'm doing. Thank you. When is that are uncomfortable or I've never worn are going. These are uncomfortable only because I have wide feet. So they're gonna go. They're disgusting. They're not, they're lush. They look like speedboats. Gosh, I've done all of these. I don't think I've ever actually worn these, so they're gonna go. I love these, but they do cut my feet, but I don't have any of the bright flats, so we'll just bend the bottom. And I'm gonna try and keep like little smaller ones flat together like this as well. It's a good like thing just to keep them together. If you have like nice bags to keep them in, it really helps them from like scuffing and marking and getting like um worn quickly in here because I mean like keeping them like this and not being funny is just ridiculous and they're all gonna get marked and they're gonna look scruffy. So if you have got little bags, definitely recommend keeping them in little bags to keep them nice and neat and tidy. Um or at least just keeping them in a pair like this. Um, black loafer, which is the Gucci dupe as well. From Primark, they have them in every colour right now. So definitely if you like them. Really great and easy to like elevate an everyday look. I'm going to keep them. And I also have the backless version as well. I also did just pick up these the other day. And I'm hoping that I'm going to wear these a lot in autumn. I really like them. Um, the backless ones. These were from Primark. They went in my Primark haul actually. Because I think I just bought them like on a separate Primark occasion. Um, but I think they were like stupidly reasonable. I just think they look really classy on. Okay. I've also just now just got heels and trainers freely. I don't feel like I'm going to wear these. So I might get rid of these. These are like a Chanel dupe. Um, but they're from an eco-friendly brand. They're really beautiful and lovely. If I had like an office job or like like I lived in London or that kind of was my vibe. Then I would probably keep these. But I just think I'm not going to get the wear out of them. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna try and sell them but I do find shoes and bags really hard to sell so we'll see how that goes these I absolutely love and I'm definitely gonna keep they're like a chunky gladiator sandal um I got these from a collaboration with long tall sally but they're from the yours so like if you guys are wide fit then they'll be great and I've got a few pairs of trainers and we're done I don't know still don't know if it's actually gonna close though these, which I bought this year and I've lived in. I love them so much. They can go here. Um, all of these I wear a lot. I just, lo I love wearing trainers. These I got last year, but I've worn them a lot. These I wore, got this year and I've worn them so much, but they've like really worn really quick. So I wouldn't actually recommend these ones. They're really cute floral embroidery converse, but they, yeah, they've just got so scruffy and I've literally not worn them anywhere that like, like would be dirty so they've not worn well and then that is actually shut that's successful that is very successful i'm happy with that we got rid of um one two three four five six pairs i feel like that is quite good are you proud of that reese mm -hmm. <laughs> um just our bags to go and then we are done last section the bags okay so there's a few in here probably could get rid of that I just don't wear it enough um, again I'm going to take them all out and then we're going to put them back in <sighs> this is 
is just like a perfect at a wedding bag because I always wear gold accessories so that one's gonna stay the same as this like this is a perfect date night bag it's just a little box black bag it does have a handle somewhere um which is inside perfect um that you can just add on it's a perfect date night bag so them two are going straight back in um this one I never wear I do actually really like it but I'm gonna get rid of it because I just never pick it I always pick like a tan or a white over it it's just like a neutral in between color it's really pretty but I'm gonna pop it for sale <laughs> okay so this bag I only wear on holiday so like I said earlier if you have a suitcase keep it in your suitcase um and you don't have to take up space in your thing this I'm also gonna give it to my mum because she wants that one so get rid of that one um and the same with this one this is just a beach bag this was actually really expensive and it's really not lasted and I'm really not happy with the quality of it. Um, so, I mean, I'll keep it until next year, but I'm definitely going to go for like a more sturdy basket style bag next year. Um, another tip is just like put them inside one another. It just takes up a little bit less space. Um, this one I absolutely adore. It's from a brand called um, 365 London. And I also have a overnight bag from them, which is also customised which is really sweet. They're like a vegan leather brand and they, I do have discount code as well, which I'll pop on the screen if anyone wants to shop with them. So unfortunately it's slightly too big, so I'm gonna have to lay it down. Um, this one, the clasp is broken on. I do love it. So I like, I don't really want to get rid of it, but it needs to be fixed. So I need to leave it out to remember to fix it. Um, right, I have two tan handbags. Now this was like my go-to before I had this one. And I also have like a big one from Fairfax and Favour. So I always kind of go for this one now. And if I didn't go for this one, to be honest, I probably would go for this one. So do I need this one? I don't want to get rid of it. I do really like it, so I'm not going to get rid of it. Um, this is like if we ever go on like a little walk or a little hike, just a little... Um, phone leather rucksack I'm actually going to put some things in this to make up better space so just like reusable bag um lint roller <laughs> random stuff that's just kept in here this I feel like I can't part with like I bought it and it's, it's horrendous but I absolutely love it at the same time so I feel like I can't part with it and one day I'm just going to make an outfit fully complete um so which it did when I wore it back when um, so I'm going to keep it, however it never comes out or really gets worn, but I do love it and I can't part with it. Um, this one I probably could part with, to be honest. I, there's nothing wrong with it, like it's a really lovely bag. It's a nice structure, it's a nice shape, it's nice, like everything. It's just, I wouldn't really pick it over a lot of my other bags. Um, but I am going to keep it because it is, like I said, it's new-ish. I only bought it when we were in Mexico didn't have a like a fancy bag in Mexico because I thought it'd be a bit Bali vibe but it was a bit more upmarket than Bali. Um, the bags that if you've got them keep your shoes and boots in to keep them like tidy. This These are also great to keep your bags in like this one came with a bag to keep it in. Um, I mentioned this in my last video this bag is really lovely just like nice white summery everyday bag um, and yeah these dust bags really do help stop them marking and keep them fresher longer which we obviously want for sustainability and save our bank accounts may get rid of so these ones i did actually only get this year but i just don't really use them as much as i feel like i wanted to have they are like very similar to chanel dupe bags like they're kind of basically that's what they are um so I do really like them. I think the neutral one I will keep but in pink. So if anyone wants them, leave me a little comment or send me a message over on my other page and I am willing to sell them. Like they're gorgeous bags and I really haven't used them that much. Like look at the handles, they're really stunning. They do go with a lot as well. I just don't really like, I'm just quite a simple person. Like I just like a simple tan or a simple white or a simple black or gold. I don't really like much fuss or faff. And then this one is just the perfect you are someone who works online laptop bag but also like overnight bag um you can machine wash this which is amazing also comes in like the opposite color pattern as well so like navy more colored and then the white through um and it's just like a perfect everyday bag for summer time um so yeah that is all of that and it's in there it's gonna shut properly i just know it 
So these are all to go. This pile is all to go. This is to try it on. And then everything else, this is gonna go back under here now. And we are tidy, look at this. I'm actually really happy that's done. So I hope today's video has inspired you to get clearing out your cup cupboards um, and have a little refresh, have a little tidy up, making space for some new stuff but also for a new season and yeah like I said if you guys want to buy anything that I've mentioned that I will be selling make sure to just go and pop out pop over and see my other page. Um, I'll leave the link here and below in the description box as I sell all of my basically so much of it unworn stuff that brands send me um, so And also, you never know what you're going to find, pieces that you used to love and you can start rewiring, which is the nicest thing, because um, it makes you feel like you've kind of freshened up your wardrobe and got a new wardrobe, even though it's the same pieces that you just actually forgot you had. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Thank you so much for the request for this video. Um, and if you have any other requests, please just leave them down below in the comment section, as I love to hear from you guys. Don't know what else I was going to say. Otherwise, just make sure you subscribe with the alarm button on, and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye! I just wanted to mention again today's sponsor for today's video is Stepology. They're a beautiful skincare brand. Um, like I mentioned, I have got a discount code if you want to try any of the products yourself. I'll leave the discount code on the screen and in the box below, and feel free to check them out. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you next time.